But the question was then, if you make CRP go down, do you reduce the risk of heart disease? And for that, you had to have a drug to do it. And it turns out that the modern statin drugs lower CRP. So Paul Ritker um, arranged a study involving 17,800 healthy people who, had, who did not have markedly elevated LDL cholesterols. So normally you give statins to people with elevated LDL cholesterols. Well, we give it to everybody with, theoretically, you're supposed to give it to everybody with diabetes as well. And so they took people who did not have markedly elevated LDLs, but they had CRP, C-reactive proteins that were above that middle range where the risk goes way up. And so they gave them this, this statin drug for, to 18,000 people in a randomized control trial. By the way, you want to know who funded the study? Okay. And what they looked at was the time to, to the primary endpoint was either cardiovascular event or, or fatality. And they ran the study, and at two years, they halted the study because they got a statistically significant reduction in first endpoints. So they stopped the study. They said, see, if you lower, lower CRP, you reduce heart disease, you reduce mortality, and um, you know, that's a good thing. But this was a statistical tour de force. But when you read the paper, in terms of actual mortality, between the placebo control, the placebo group and the statin group, the total number of, of uh, lives saved was, I think it was like six. So statistically significant, but clinically not significant. Anyway, four years later, that was in 2008. In 2012, four years later, they published another way, paper and said, oh, by the way, when we looked at these people who got the statin, they had a, the people who got the statin had a 34% increase in their risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It's not advertised. It's not well known that statins are, are diabetogenic. But they say, but we save more lives for the, for the statin, even though we cause more diabetes. And you know, so this is a disconnect between lowering CRP and reversing diabetes. So we'll give a monoclonal antibody uh, to IL-1 beta. IL-1 beta is one of the, the uh, cytokines that when it comes through the bloodstream to the liver, makes the liver make CRP. So it's just one step down, uh, up, upstream of, of C-reactive protein. So they gave a monoclonal antibody to uh, people to see if they reduce their, their risks of uh, coronary disease. Um, and uh, they gave this to a large number of people. Uh, they followed them for a relatively long period of time. And what they found was that in a dose, re dose relatively dose dependent, so they used different doses, they got about a 20% uh, decrease in the risk of heart disease or of coronary events by giving this monoclonal antibody, reducing IL-1 beta that then secondarily would reduce CRP. And you know, that was, again, a really neat observation. But the problem is that when you re reduce IL-1 beta significantly, you also re uh, increase the risk of, of sepsis, because you're kind of tying the hands of the body and dealing with infection. And the uh, cases of, of sepsis that, that in, in, were induced as a side effect of this drug um, counteracted the benefit of reducing coronary risk. And so it was, had a neutral effect.